Today we have a different type of vlog. I'm learning nails. Let me show you how to do it. I'm pressing it and I'm just sitting there, bro. Just get it on. It's getting down. Yeah. Getting. Oh, come just, down. Just come straight down. Back, forth, back, forth. You have to be able to balance. So I never would have thought of that, obviously. You see how it's pinched? Let's see what you do with this. Do not get this. I gotta, I gotta push. Much, much better. Go ahead and do it again. Right. Balancing. Uh, uh. I see it now. You know the difference is? Mm. The major key. to clip the backs off of these uh, tips. So I'm already being put to work. All right, I'm gonna wear gloves, bro, because... You should. I don't wear my hat backwards. You're so cool. I don't wear my hat backwards when I'm pounding to be arm wrestling. Come here, bro. <laughs> what you wait, 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 what did you say, bro? Pounding me in arm wrestling? All right, hold on, let me pop, pop these in. I gotta go, what, just a couple pops? Yeah, the nice thing about the nail trainer. What am I doing, dude? I'm going like this. <laughs> nice thing about the nail trainer is this hand, um, you, you can actually, with a few clicks, literally embed the plastic into the hand so it doesn't pop off when you're filing it. You're gonna have to switch out to an arbor band. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's just move this stuff out of the way so you don't knock it over. So, and this is. Uh, and safety bet, you're gonna go lefty loosey, lefty righty loose. tidy. Righty tidy. There you go. That's lefty neat. loosey, left to open, right to lock. And all the way down, is all that right? Down. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's cute. So, when you turn on the electric file, just get it on. Just kidding, bro. Kidding, 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 kidding. <laughs> kidding. Just barely, barely turn it on so it's okay. barely spinning. Like that? Yep. So, okay. what, is it at a quarter? Yep. Okay, so what what do I want to... So the first things first is you're holding it in under your position. You need to be so in over I, your position. I see you guys correct. do this all the, the reason time. The reason why you need to be like this is so that your wrist is flat. Yeah. And it also prevents your clients from actually looking up at their finger while you work. Yeah, this, it feels comfortable actually. Yeah, it does. It does, like... This is for prep. Yeah. It's not for app. Okay. Okay. So you have to make sure that zone one of your barrel, which is right here in front. So I'm going to point at it like this is the bottom, but this is zone one right here. Okay. This is zone two right here. And then this is zone three right here. So you okay. can see the lines, one, two, three. Touch the arbor band and you can see zone one. one. And then I go in the middle, this is zone two. Ooh. And then right here on the bottom is going to be zone, zone three. Okay, so when you refer to those zones, that's the part I want to be touching the nail. Correct. That zone, yes. correct? Okay. So when you're gonna be working with it, yeah. you, you have to make sure that, for me, it's always easy to work from here to here and then start feathering it all the way through. Okay. You're coming in parallel, don't come in parallel. You always wanna oh. come in perpendicular. So, like, like that, correct. right? Correct, that's perpendicular, right? Okay. So, yeah, like, okay. And then around, oh yeah, so around the cuticle. Yep, and you're gonna be basically Just, fe feathering it. I see it. So you, you go, you go like this. Balance your finger on here so that it's stable. Oh yeah, stable. it's nice and stable. Correct. That feels solid, dude. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That feels like a lot of control. That, that It's like riding. Yeah. You, you, you wanna make sure that you feel like you're riding and you have to have some sort of fulcrum to balance your finger and his pinky is that. So, Anch this is my anchor point. That's like, your it's that's anchors, and then now I've got that's stability. Your for okay. sure. That's your anchor point. Yeah, yes. exactly, bro. Okay, so, and then I can pivot. I can pivot. You can, but you're gonna be tickling in one direction. Okay. You're so, not gonna be going back and forth. So just, 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 just light around the cuticle. Around the cuticle area. Make sure I got, okay. Okay, so around, hold on. Just feather it. Jesus. This is you like, can get closer if you want. It's kind of a little awkward. Oh, there we go. There you go, close. Yeah. Good. All the way around. So you're turning the hand as I'm working. Good. Okay. And then, and then I want you to start from this point, zone one, zone two, zone three. So zone all the way down. Yeah. So same tickle. No, not not this way towards you. Yeah. Uh, so you can feel the feathering motion. 
That's good. So it's just a light, light. It's a light feathering. So motion. I'm not going back and forth. No. Over. Oh, oh, oh! It's it's always one direction. It's like you're ticking at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got you. And then you'll get fast enough where you'll be able to just feather through it really, really fast. Good. And as I go down the nail, I'm 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 using the from the zone one to zone three. Zone exactly. So you have to make sure that you get away it. Ah. You have to make sure that you tickle away all the shine, but that right there is really, really good. How's that? The nice, oh, it's perfect. The nice thing about what he's doing is it's a very easy feathered motion. The nice thing about what he's doing is he's using a feathered motion to tickle away the shine from the natural nail. This is not going to create any heat. It's a very gentle pressure. Um, it's like he's tickling the surface of the natural nail. Yeah, to coochie coochie cool. The, the, you the, have a little bit of shine here. Do you see it? Oh yeah, I do. So no, I'll show you something. So you could use zone three. Okay. And and and. Oh, come just, down. Just come straight down, just to tickle. Yep, just a real light in one direction all the way through. There you go. Good. That's it. Um, what's interesting is is going back and like I thought. I honestly thought you would go back and forth. No. But to know that I'm only making contact when I'm hitting it towards me yes. makes a huge difference. It does. Right, because as I go like this, I, I, I lose control. Yeah, you're not going side to side, right. back, forth, back, forth. You're literally it, if that, lifting it up, tickle, lifting it up, tickle, lifting right. it up. So it's almost like you're lifting it up as you're tickling it away, yeah, you're that's, feathering it. That's interesting because I, I didn't feel like I had control until I did that um, because it's like spinning. It's like I'm, it just didn't feel right. So out of control. All so right, cool. You seemed like you were in control. Thank you. All right. Okay. Okay, now I can do this. Protein bond, okay, two cool. coats. So you're gonna hold the, hold the nail like, yeah. From underneath now? Yeah, because you need to be able, when you're applying polish, when you're applying acrylics or anything or gel polish, you have to be able to balance, yes. Good, you're using your pinky as your anchor, which is really good. Seems really natural to you. Only because I've seen you do it 98,000 billion times, bro. Okay. Do two coats? Yes, you want to do two coats. Okay. Oh, God. One more? Yep. Good. Notice this pinky, how it's stable right here. It's really, really important for all you guys out there. That way you don't shake while you work. Yeah, I don't that, know why I'm like looking over here. <laughs> <laughs> that um, that makes a huge difference. It's still kind of hard because I'm not used to it, but yeah. but to have that balance, bro, is That's like so huge. important. Okay, now what? Now okay. we got this. Now now can I okay, yeah, start doing some acrylic? Let's do some acrylic. All right, so the key to acrylic is going to be consistency. Your consistency, when you are applying acrylic, especially when you're starting, you have to learn Thanks. to love a wet consistency. A wet consistency is going to flow. A wet consistency is going to self-level. A wet consistency is going to allow you to apply the cuticle area in the least amount of basically steps. You don't want to have to press and pat it in you know, forcefully into place. It has to be a real gentle, almost pressing it into place. Uh, powder, does it matter where this goes? That, like, So here, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is do me a favor. This is your prep nail. Go okay. ahead and take three more and just pop, pop them, them into in. here. Oh, we're gonna do some practice yeah, ones? Yeah, we're gonna pick up some nails and that way you can see uh, consistency. Okay. Because what we wanna be able to do, the most important thing when you guys are learning to apply acrylic is especially with nails like this, is learning to get the acrylic to flow from cuticle to the tip of the nail. So the biggest problem that a lot of beginners make, right, is that they work with the product too dry, right? So again, yeah. you've watched me do this many, many times. Yes, I have. Um, the technique that I want you to do is I want you to submerse your brush and I want you Gotta put some wood with Yes, it. I'm sure, yeah. I've like seen that. you do this a thousand times. I wanna try it. Woo, that's fun. It's kinda neat. But you did create Lake Monomer, so that's, 
It's too much. <laughs> a little too much liquid? Yeah, a little bit okay. too much liquid. Well, I figure I'm going to go through it because I'm going to be doing the, a lot. The, the problem is, is you don't oh, I have, can't, I you can't, can't drain uh, your brush because I got you, I got you. it's so, that's, so much monomer inside here that when you're trying to drain it, you're draining can't, at an angle instead of straight. I, okay, so that's important to know. Okay, so I never would have thought of that, obviously, as a as beginner. So let Just me absorb uh, a little bit out. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Makes a huge difference. Huge difference. I, I saw that immediately. I'm like, I can't, I won't be able to do what you do, which is like drain out the liquid. Okay. okay. So I don't want you to drag, right? I don't want you to do stab. Okay. I want you to bounce. Okay. But you have to remember that you need enough pressure in the surface to, okay. be, to make it perfect. So the biggest problem that a lot of beginners make is they pick up a lot of liquid and they don't press firm enough into the surface. Okay. Right, they just try to let the brush pick it up. Okay. Don't let the brush pick it up. You have to pick it up. Okay. And what I mean by that is it has to be firm enough of a dip in order for it to get. Now, here's the thing. You see the the, the construction of the brush. Hold on. Yes. Construction of the brush is flat. Okay. So if you're picking it up with the side of the brush, it's going to be uneven. You're going to have. You see how it's pinched. If the brush yeah, there, is pinched. There, there's an actual. Pinch, right? Like you can see the divot. There's like a Correct. divot in the brush, right? So that's where it's held together. And that's when you pinch it, it's going to create a flat surface. Right. That's why it has, you can see yes. it's like flat here and you turn to the side, it's got that kind of like nice bulb, uh, sort of bulbous shape right okay. there. There's a the bulk right there. So it's oval. It is. Right. Okay. Okay. So let's see what you do. So what? Okay. So <laughs> what you want to be able to do is I want to show you, you want okay. to submerse your brush. Okay. And then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to bounce and you see how I'm actually able to pick up a nice even pearl yeah. on one side of yeah, my yeah, brush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want you okay. to be able to do. Now All here's right. the thing, when you set it down, you have to remember that you need to set it down with enough space. So you guys are gonna see something. If I take the orange wood stick, I'm not gonna place it right here. Oh, I, I need to place it right here. Got it. And then, is if, if the finger is pointed down, the angle, like with the tip of the brush, I'm literally gonna kind of slide it touch, slide right. touch, okay. slide touch, slide touch, slide touch. Okay, so let me just get one first and yeah. put it there. Let's see what you do with this. So that's okay, this is perfect because what ended up happening is- so I. I Okay, go ahead, okay. I'm sorry. No, so you notice, do not, do not get this. Leave it there. The reason why you wanna leave it there is because if you try to keep picking it up, it's gonna get jammed up inside your brush and then you're gonna have a lot of problems. So when it dries, you'll be able to get it out with a file. So just leave it. Just leave it, okay. just let it dry. Okay. We're gonna flatten this out. You have to make sure that you compress deep enough. Okay, I gotta, I gotta push. Yeah, you have to push into the so, surface. Like, like deliberate pressure. Correct. I mean, all right. So let me, let me try this again. Deliberate pressure. Good. Oh, yeah. Much, much better. So still a little bit dry. On, the, on the dry side. I can see it. So all that. You yeah. can see how you have like dandruff yeah, yeah, all yeah. around the edge. <laughs> Um, that's going to dry really, really fast. Oh, I can what, feel it. It's like, it's like, it's okay. like really firm. So, so like so here, what, go ahead and do it again. Right. Okay. So that's much better, but I want to show small, you. Small though. It is small. So here's the thing. What I do is when I submerse my brush and I get a lot of liquid in my inside the uh, screen, you are inside the screen. Okay, so watch this. Barely touch, oh. and I compress firm, and I literally will bounce. You can see how quickly it absorbs. So I don't just bounce firm, I lift up quick. And I literally, I don't just stay in the powder, I'm literally, look at this, how I'm like literally bouncing. Oh, okay, bouncing okay, okay, okay. in the surface. Yeah, 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 I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay. So that the brush picks up the powder. Good. Way, way better. Look at that. That consistency is really, really wet. That's okay, what it that's is wet. Okay, but, but you, okay. So I a little bit firmer and a little bit, if you go a little bit firmer, good. Okay, now look, look at the difference. Yeah. Great, perfect, good. Oh yeah, 
Okay. That's so good. That, so that's the consistency I want right now when I put it on the nail. That's exactly what you want when you go inside the nail. Okay. So it's, and I'm barely tapping it. I saw that you just barely kind of touch it, right? So you have to remember, we're trying to get, I'm trying to get him used to consistency. So we're not going to start off with small pearls. Good. Set it down. Oops. That's okay. That's okay. Again, it's rushing because he's literally going from <laughs> the jar to the, the nail to the nail and he's trying to rush it on. Hold it upside down uh, and then as you get to the nail, turn it and press it down. Okay. Hold on, let's get that out. I'm gonna show you here. Okay. Use this hand file. Okay. And then just kind of scoop out that and you guys can see how easy it is to take out oh, that yeah. dry powder. Nice. There you go. It looks like one of those mochi desserts, bro. It looks, like a, it looks like a mochi. But don't eat it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this again. So press, yeah, and then get yourself a nice pearl. Good, good. Yep, and, and now, then, now, and then. now, nice and even. Okay, tip of the brush gets behind, press, and then you're gonna start working around. Good. Wow, I'm actually quite impressed at what you're doing. So. Interesting, wow. So, okay. you know what? Just, just keep working and I'll show you what I want. I want to see whether you're gonna be able to get it from the back to the front and then So I'll, what do I'll I do now? You have to get this to, to here. So how do I do that? So use the body of the brush to start pressing, pressing it down towards the tip. Exactly, see that? Good. Okay, but then it's it's flaring okay, out. Okay, so side. don't push from the top. You need to get from underneath to get it up. From here? Yes, you feel that? Oh. Okay, so now you see yes, and you're working back over that bulge. Oh, 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 oh. Good. Good. Okay, let's see how much space you have at the tip. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Okay, so here's let, let's go ahead. So you're you're again, Habib's like for, so that was pretty good. It's actually really good because it's not like we're <laughs> starting five steps back. Well, well, bro. I've, I mean, here's the thing. I've literally like seen this in my mind. I mean, I've, I've seen it literally thousands of times. So it's like I've gone, like I have all the textbook knowledge. But um, okay. Okay. So, so, so it, I can kind of see that around the cuticle, you do. it looks decent. But then you, you have know. space. You have a lot of space around the cuticle area, which is good. I. Trust me, for all of you guys that are starting right now, for those of you who are in school who are frustrated because you're getting it too close to the cuticle area, I'm gonna show you guys what I don't want you to do. Like, I don't want you to pick up a pearl and, and push it like this, you see that? And so yeah. what it creates is a reverse horseshoe. Right, a big donut. A big donut, half donut. So everything starts to slip down towards the side right. and then once you try to balance it in, all the product is stuck here at the cuticle area and you have no chance right. of getting this from here to right, here. Right, 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 and right. And it's right. running onto the skin right now, which is really, really frustrating. Right, okay. okay. And another thing is I don't recommend you guys using your brush unless you're skilled to get it off the nail, but okay, so <laughs> here's the thing. When you are working from the cuticle area, you have to remember that, like, this is my brush. Pretend this is the tip of my brush and this is the nail, right? Here's my cuticle area, here's my tip, okay? Right. Here's the brush. Zone one, zone two, zone, zone three. three. So just like the file. Just, just like your file, okay? So if I set it down to the cuticle area, right. the tip of my brush right. is literally pressing it close. Right. Don't press it so tight that you basically create an indentation. Right. Press it as close to the tip of the brush touching. Okay. And then release. Close okay. to touching release. Close to touching release. All the way around. Now here's the thing. As it starts flowing down, right, you're not going to start dragging it. If the product is wet enough, the tip of the brush, you can start guiding it from the top. Okay. And then as it comes down, you can start using zone two and then zone three at the bottom. Okay. Zone one, zone, zone two, two, zone three, three at the bottom. Okay. It's kind of in between zone two and zone three. Okay. Okay. So get yourself a lot of product because I want you to try to overlay this in one. 
Wow. It's okay. That's again. It's. it's I uh, see. I try to get out my brush too. Yeah. Okay. So I, I wasn't. I, I noticed I what I, what I'm doing is I'm pressing it and I'm just sitting there, bro. You're correct. Like when I'm, it, I'm it not floods the surface. Yeah, and, and then, then I don't all do that anything. weight you can't pick it up. Correct. I'm not pressing. So when you press, it picks up so much it grabs it, grabs it, grabs it. So let me press. Much different. Good. And then I'm gonna set it down. Yeah. And then when you then, press it, there, yeah, right there. You see that? It's a very, very light pressure all the way around. Yeah, keep the finger pointed down. Okay, now use, just barely touch it up and then walk back over the top with the whole, yes. It's a very light pressure. God, that's you're hard. done, you're done. Don't touch that anymore. Good. Now what? <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Let it flow, let okay. it keep flowing. Because it's Gu Guide it with the tip of the brush on the surface. You can feel it, you see that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's still wet, you'll, you'll get it to guide. Now you can use the body of the brush to start bringing it down and all the way through. Don't press it too hard because you need to keep the shape. Good. Whew. That's actually pretty good. Not bad, not bad. So here's the thing again. I'm, I'm it's gonna sh all jacked here. here. It's, it's like open space there. Okay. Like how do you get it so like. Let me show you how to do it. Cause it's, it's, I feel like I can pick it up now. I get the deliberate pressure and I get where you lay it down and I get kind of walking on the cuticle, but then I feel like it's just, it's like unevenly going down the nail and it stuck. looks like a, yeah, it gets stuck, stuck. and it's okay. frustrating, bro. <laughs> okay. So, um, we're just, this is not prepped, but it doesn't matter because right now we're just practicing flow and we're trying to get it from this point to this point in the least amount of pressure. Okay. So notice that. When I submerse my brush, I need to get myself, first of all, a large enough pearl. And then when I set it down, look at the space I have, watch this. Compress, 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 compress. Com now look at this, everything is flowing. Yeah, I can So I don't really, all I have to do is really <laughs> just kind of guide it into place. Look at that, all the way down. And, and here's the crazy thing is as soon as I get down to this point right here, I can get it to flow all by itself Yeah. without doing anything. Okay, here's, here's the difference. I see it now. You know the difference is? Mm. When you pick up your ball, bro, first of all, I notice you're, I'm, I'm releasing too much liquid off my brush. That's okay. number one, I see that. Number two, your ball, is, is so much bigger and wetter that when you set it down, gravity pulls it. Correct. So I'm not getting a big enough ball okay. and it's not wet enough. Good. So it's drying quicker on the nail and um, I'm releasing too much liquid as, I, as what I see. You're, you, it's that your consistency is so perfect, bro. When you lay it down, I can see it. And the weight, from this angle, I can see the weight. It's like gravity's pulling it and it's like you just do, 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 do. You're barely doing anything. I don't have to do, exactly. Yeah. You want, especially when you guys are doing overlays and designs, it's really, really important to get a consistency so that the product works for you, not against right, you. Right, right, right. I've talked about this so many times on vlogs and on nail schools, but it's funny because having somebody who is not used to getting con good consistency, um, it's one thing when you let them do it a couple of times and then you show them how you do it. So d show me one more time. Sure. You pick up, like yeah. I want to see you pick that up again. You got it. You got it. So um, watch. That, that seems like it's a huge key. So, so everybody can see. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to get, take a look at this, yeah. and then I'm gonna set it down, and then look, touch, 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 touch. And then you'll notice that all I have to do is barely touch, touch, touch. Like, I can keep inducing liquid into the surface, and look how everything just flows all yeah. the way down. And then once I get it to this point, even if it doesn't, get over the area, like let's say you're missing product there. It's not a problem because look at this, if I feather it, I just, I can literally, I can start to like use the body of my brush to push it into, once it starts to get to like a clay-like consistency, 
then I can start using the body of my brush to make it perfect. It's not about making it super perfect, it's about making it perfect enough so that when you file it into shape, it's going to be perfect. You just don't okay. want the product to run underneath. Right, 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 right. Right? So again, having a little bit of space right here, not a big deal. For everybody out there that's learning how to do this, the key for consistency is getting it to run from this point to this point and getting the tip of the brush so that it's tight, literally from, and I'm gonna mark it so that you can see, if you check this out. What, what, when I'm using my brush, I'm trying to, I'm gonna make two lines right here and right here. Okay, you see okay. that? Uh -huh. Right there. So when I set it down, tight, 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 and then once it's tight around this area, not a problem, I can get everything to flow. The major key is getting that pearl. consistency, that pearl, it's got to be right because I notice when you set your pearl down, it just, it's so perfect. It is. It just goes, you're like, it is. <laughs> it is. It is actually. Yeah. But when, when, when you do that, it, it just flows like that's, that's, I think that's the key. Don't, really don't, we're all you guys out there, don't focus on getting small pearls. Don't focus on outdated technique where you're doing three to four balls around the cuticle area. It should literally be one. It has to be one good pearl so that when you set it down and you mold it around the cuticle area, it levels into place by itself. Still a little bit dry. See that? Okay, it's okay. So let, let's, let's get you a new, should we get you some more powder so that it's a little bit full? Okay, I just wanna show you something too. That's really good right yeah. there, but wait, turn your brush around. So you just picked it up with the side of uh, the brush. Yeah, 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 okay. You have to be conscious about that as well. Okay, so I need to, so this is important. This, where it's pinched and where it's flat, I have to, I gotta be aware of that. Correct. Like, you do have to be aware That's of important. It. it is important because when the brush is pinched, when you touch it, it's going to be flat on that front end. Right. Great. Oh, that's that's beautiful. That's good, right? Yeah, it's yeah I feel like that's better. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay. I'm and I'm I'm giving um, that's that deliberate pressure. Should we get any powder or It's always nice too, you guys. For those of you who are practicing, you m make sure that you dispose of you, you have a closed trash can that way when you dispose of your Towels, you don't have a lot of smell all over the place. Good, yes, oh yeah. Go ahead and set that down. You're gonna notice the difference immediately. Oh yeah, spongy. Oh wow, what a difference, dude. Okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. it's okay, just be real, just, just feel the flow. Just touch it to the side, yep. Touch it to the side. <laughs> okay, now we, ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa. This, don't, yeah, don't get too it's, carried it's, away. You gotta keep, bring it back up. Just okay, bring it okay. back up. All right, all bring right. it just, yeah, okay, bring it up. Here. Bring it up. Good. Yeah, yeah you yeah. see how it's hanging right there? Wedge your brush, wedge your brush on your towel, and use that, well, not this, the side of the brush. Wedge your brush, use the very sharp right side. Here? Yeah, just to bring it up, there you go. Uh, okay, now you can start, you see how it's kind of flat? Uh, yeah. Walk it back over the top. Here? Gentle, over the top, yeah, to round off those edges. You see that? Round off those edges, good. Bro. It's impressive. Dude, it's that, it's the, the, per, the consistency is everything. I realized it because I couldn't, I couldn't, there was like, in order to, to make sure that the pearl is, is going to work on its own with gravity is I, I have to get that pearl correct, that consistency and, and watching what you did to get it. And then it does all the work by itself. I'm super, right? yeah. I, Look, all of my students who come through one week course, uh, there's a part of the class where we literally, you notice when you actually start brushing it out, it actually starts smoothing yeah, it. Look yeah, at totally. the difference, right? Yeah. So it's funny because when you set acrylic down initial and it's really, really wet, you cannot use a lot of pressure. It's almost gel-like right. touch. It's, it, it's, it's yeah. surface yeah. to move it so that it doesn't get away from you. Right. As it starts to dry, you're using more pressure. 
and then once it starts to set, then you're using the body of the brush to put it into place. Oh, that's no, okay. That was really, really good. Damn it. It's okay. That you almost had it. All right. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm not, I'm not pressing down enough. Enough. I, I can see it. I'm still like afraid to press down. Yeah. It's weird. Very nice sponge. Yep. Good, dude. Yep. Oh, good touch. Don't focus. You only need to touch it a couple times to get it even. So you notice that one. Yep, just keep guiding it. And then if it stops, then you can start using more pressure on the body to move it down towards towards its place. It's still going. Good. Use the body to move it. Just be gentle. You see, you went a little yeah. bit too firm there. Wow, I, I feel like I barely, barely touched, touched it. it. But that's exactly the thing: is you don't need a lot of pressure. It's almost yeah, feather-like. It's, it's very, very gentle. So you can start moving into place to cover that whole entire tip. Just brush here. it. Just brush it brush forward. It forward. Yeah, use the whole body of the brush. Brush it forward. Don't press down. Just a real smooth yes. Oh, I see. Smooth. Brush it. Brush it. Yes. Use the. Let the brush flow yeah, over the yeah, surface yeah, 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 to yeah, yeah. brush it over. You're not slapping it and brushing. Right. Right. You're literally. It's almost like you're stroking it. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. It's very. What about this over here? So you have a ledge. You you can't come in from the side. You have to come in from underneath and then work back over the top to round it off. Good. Just like that. There's that whole gap right there. Okay, so here's the thing. At the end of the day, if you have a little bit of a, of a gap, you have to remember that when you're starting, as long as it's an even line all the way down the middle, you're not going to keep filling it because it's very difficult to fill that space. Okay. So what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to blend it. Oh. When you blend it with your file, it's going to blend in flush. This is where your finishing work comes in, which is later. Right now, I'm not concerned yeah. about it being perfect. What I'm trying to get, which is the first step to your success doing acrylic nails, yeah. is consistency. consistency. It's everything. Getting it to flow from yeah. the cuticle area to the free edge right. in the least amount of effort. Let me do one more. Okay, let's do one more. Okay. You ready? Yep. What am I wanting to stick on? Oh, it's, it's all good. I don't need it. I just use this gel brush as a all right. Good. I can see. I can. Good. Oops. Yep, good. So it's barely touching to get it nice and even. Yep, good. You don't even have to touch that. You see how it just went into that yeah. corner perfect? Good. Wow. You're good. That's yeah, good. It's good. You lifted it up. Yeah. So try to guide it from the top over here, right here, from the top. Not from that point here? over here where there's acrylic. Yeah, here? move it over. Just barely touch. You see that? Yeah. Okay, now wipe your brush and then start using the body of the brush to start moving it into the place that you need. Here? Good. Use the wedge of the brush. You have to start working some of this acrylic back over the top. Over the top. Not, not too hard. You see, you barely yeah, pushed wow. it. Okay, work it over. Start working it. You can start brushing it down. Brush. Not the, you're using the tip of the brush. Brush the whole thing. Good, brush, feel the brush, grab the product. Yes, look at that. See that? Yeah, it starts to smooth it out. Good, man. Wow. It's still kind of like. Okay, so again, it's. It, I'm not concerned about perfection right now. What I'm concerned about is you getting the product. So right now the product is running kind of uneven from here to here. You can always add a small pearl to the edge, but here's right. a good thing is, right. look at the shape. I want to show you something. So if you look at this right here, do you see how the shape, like you can see how it comes down here, down here, down, yeah. down, down. Right. That shaping that you have, you're not building a plank or a right, block. Right. It's going from down and Correct. Then coming up. You don't have ledges. You right. don't have ledges. Everywhere from this point all the way around is tight. So yes, you're yeah, a little yes. shallow in this area, but the reason why you're shallow in the area is because you keep touching it more than once. Oh, you oh. press it and you keep touching the same point. Once, just, once, just, once, just, once, just, once, 
one, 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 one. Think about like you're literally like, just remember when you used to drum, bro? It's just yeah. a nice like, yeah. Tap, oh tap, yeah, tap, super tap, tap, tap. So it's just a real light tap with the tip of the brush into that motion. Once it gets close, some of the areas it will level into place. You don't even need to touch it. Yeah. Okay. What I feel about this is that this is another type of like education piece because he again is going through the same struggles as all of you. Yes. Oh, that one's perfect. Oh, that one's perfect. Oh yeah. Get that side up, get that side up. Yeah, get that side up. Good. Ooh, look at you. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Look at you. Get your brush dry. Get all the liquid off. Okay. Okay, you see that wedge? You see that wedge, yeah, yeah, that yeah. tight wedge? Right here. Use, I just want to show you something. Okay. Use that tight wedge. You see that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To get uh, that up. God, you barely touched that, bro. Barely. Barely. That's impressive. That's impressive. Is that That's really, really good. That's really good. It's, it's awesome that he was able to get it to move from here to here. Takeaway for me as a student is consistency is, it is everything, at least to get to the next step. And that next step being, you know, being able to like let the product flow down the nail. I've got to be able to pick up the right ball. And then after watching Greg, it was, you know, my brush wasn't wet enough. I didn't have enough liquid. I was releasing too much liquid. And I still have the habit of not putting enough pressure, that bounce, bounce, bounce. You gotta be deliberate. You gotta like, you gotta press it nice and firm. And then as soon as I turn it over, I can see it looks like an orange peel. And it's a nice kind of full, and I'm like, as long as there's no like powder like caking it, I know it's the right consistency. Right. I can lay it down, and then you see it start to move, and it does all the and work. it's really, really light pressure when you start Very touching light. it. Very light, yeah. You're not slapping at it or brushing it. You're just trying to keep it on the surface and getting it to move from the cuticle area to yeah. the tip of the nail. Awesome. Great job, bro. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Until the next, next time. episode, uh, I don't know where we're gonna go with this, but I'm kinda having fun, and he's pretty damn good. Nice work. Peace. <laughs> I guarantee from now until the end of the year, I can teach you how to lay down some insane acrylic. Okay, but what if I don't want to do nails till the end of the year? Do I have no choice? Are you forcing me? No, I just... What kind of relationship is this?